Hey, this is Jim with Survival Attitude. What we're going to do today is uh, show you how to make a sand filter. Um, what we did today is we just brought a pair of jeans out with us. If we were in a survival situation where um, we couldn't get out and we, we needed water, which we always need water, uh, I would actually take my own pants off to do this. But since we don't have to do that and we have the luxury of bringing pants with us to show you this segment, all we want to do is take a pair of jeans or any kind of pants, it's up to you, and we want to take some 550 cord and tie them off really tight down at the bottom of the pant leg. And what we're going to do on just one side, we'll show you what the other side of the pant leg we're going to do with that later. But what we want to do is start filling this pant leg up with about six inches of gravel like this. That's going to act as our filling. And we want to get about six inches of that in there. A good six inches. What that'll do, the heavier rock will filter out the, the larger pieces of sediment. Especially if you have a muddy stream or a muddy river. And we're going to do that. We're going to make it muddy so you can see what this looks like when it comes out. There's about four inches. We just want to keep adding this heavier stone. Small gravel is okay if it goes in. It doesn't matter. That's about six inches. And what we want to do is take our shovel. I'm going to go over here where there's some really good sand. Get our pants opened up. Like that. We want to take this good sand right in here. That's about nice, about how fine you want to get that. We're going to drop that in our pant leg. So we get about six inches of that. This will filter out the fine stuff. There you can see we got about six inches of sand in there with two scoops off from our shovel. Now what we're going to do is we're going to keep alternating sand and the heavier rock until we get up to about, about up to here, about two layers each. That way when we pour our water in the top of the pants, it has a reservoir so it can filter. We actually want to filter this stuff twice. Uh, the purpose for that is to make sure we get everything out, but it's still not drinkable. We have a fire going behind the camera here. And the reason we did that is we're going to have to boil our water before we drink it. You cannot drink this stuff because it nitrates, um, bacteria, cysts, Guardia, whatever else could be in here, I would never drink out of any stream in North America, South America, probably nowhere in the world until I boiled the water and filtered it first. But this is our first segment. We're going to do what is called a sand, leg sand filter with our pants, and we'll be back in a few minutes after we get this uh, filled up for you. Be back in a minute. Thanks. All right, we're back. What we have, I don't know if you can see it back here. Um, we have our sand filter hanging from a tree. That's what that one leg was for. We're going to get a close-up of that. But what we're going to do is muddy up this stream as if you had, uh, were in a situation where you had uh, muddy water to pick from and that's all you were looking at. So what I'm going to do is, is muddy this up and take about a gallon of water, or a gallon and a half maybe, or a little more. But we really want to get this muddy, dirty water. We're gonna we're gonna show you what this looks like after it's filtered twice. That's what we're looking for. Hang on, it's coming. There you go, buddy. A little more. That's good. Now you can see. Mm. 
Now you can, if you can see that, you can see what we're dealing with if we had muddy water. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the camera, we're going to take our water over here, show it to you again so you know we don't pour clean water in there, and we're going to show you how to filter this. So let's head over there now. Here we go. Here's our muddy water, as you can see. What we're going to do, again, what we have is gravel, about six inches, sand, gravel, sand. And then we left enough of a reservoir in here, as you can see here with my fingertips. We have a reservoir that we can pour a lot of water in here, get our bucket back there and start catching it. And we can do this over and over with as many gallons of water as we want. What we're doing is just a little bit here just to show you how this works. had to get the mud out of the bucket so I can show you what we're going to be looking at here. This is the first filtering. You can see it's coming out of there pretty good. While we let this filter, what we're going to do is check on our fire, make sure we got that going because we're going to boil this when we're done. And then right before we pour this in again to, to filter one more time, I'm going to show it to you after it's filtered, and then we'll filter it, and then we're going to take you over here and boil it off for you. We'll talk to you in a few minutes. Okay, we're back. We got our first one done here. Show you what this looks like quick. That's our first filtering. You can see that's pretty clear, but it's still, I can see that there's still just a little bit of coloring in there. I'm going to dip, I'm going to filter this one more time. So what we're going to do pour it in here. We're going to let this filter through for the second time and this will be much clearer when we're done. We won't have quite as much water, but we'll have uh, much clearer water. Filtered twice, you can filter it three times, it's up to you, but we're filtering it twice. And then uh, we're gonna go ahead and boil it off. We'll be back in a few minutes, thanks. Here we are again. We're just about done. That took about uh, three to five minutes, but I just wanted to show you, we got a little foam on top now, but it did go through our filter. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here, grab our cup, and we're going to boil some. And I might put some pine needles in it, uh, white pine, make a little tea while we're at it. So we'll take this over. We're going to have to take the camera across the creek, and um, we'll be ready to shoot this. So come on along with us. <clears throat> 